exactly a year ago, I lost the front tire of my car after bumping into one of the numerous potholes right in the central business area of Azamankese. One would have hoped for a change a year on, but the situation has rather worsened. The smaller potholes have become much bigger and motorists who ply the roads often are deeply worried. Asamankase adidi ye se municipal ye nsho bi ase ye de ho fi an mi se ka kra ba se ko ka asasko jonshin sa na na ete fiti nananom mle so an mpp bay ndc bay nso na ho mpp bay stele ho hospital road ne ntutui o ma se be tutu no so ma be ye eno so ma me ye te kwan ne de o mo ma hwe no mo ye ma ye fi ya kon kan enu ani a drive through the principal street and the business district of the town shows how paintings on shops and walls have been replaced by dust. Shop owners are not only concerned about the debt, but the health risks it poses. When they come around, they tell us our, our, our stuffs are dirty. And sometimes it contaminates some of the drugs because you know some of the drugs are in a box and sometimes maybe there will be a small hole that the dust can penetrate into the medicine so it makes it get dirty and contaminated. Is it affecting your business? Yes, it's really affecting our business. It's really affecting our business. Uh, if you go inside our shop, you see that the walls are all dirty and every, everywhere is dirty. When you, when you clean your shop, um, within the next few minutes, it gets dirty again. When we come to the shop and we maybe you be in a nice dress, it also gets dirty. So it's really affecting us. It's really affecting our health, our business and everything. So what do you want the appropriate authorities to do about this? We want them to fix the road for us. We want them to fix the road for us. We need them to fix the road for us immediately. Aside from the health hazards, City News understand that the poor nature of the roads is forcing businesses to fold up. Everything is unhealthy around here. So now food vendors don't even come around because of the dust. People don't sell. The vendors don't sell anymore. So because <laughs> The residents are disappointed at how successive governments have over the years promised to fix the roads but have failed to do so. Uh, the the chiefs of the town are equally worried about the extent of neglect. Abodasi Hene Bafo Kwame Wachi is the head of lands in Asaman Kesi. Um, year in year out, we've gone in to request that we have this big challenge. It's been going on for years and I want to use this medium to really appeal to government to really look at this in another perspective. Because for what we are getting, we are not comfortable as indigenous of Asamankese. Our internal road networks are very poor, extremely poor. When you're going back, please just capture that and put it on your newsreel. And then you identify that, look, 
we are not being treated the way we deserve to be treated. Bafo Kwame Ewache, however, indicated that the chiefs and people of Asaman Kese will be forced to advise themselves if something is not done to stop the continuous devastation of roads in the municipality. Go down on the hospital stretch and you realize that it's in a bad taste. Regardless of what car you drive, put the person in here, drive in there and come back. The person will die. Why do we experience these things? They've awarded a contract to another contractor. Every time we hear they've awarded a contract to another contractor, it's today this, it's tomorrow that. It's not good. It's not good. It's very, very bad, I must say. And I don't think that Nanamo are happy about it. We don't have to call press conferences to do this. We don't have to go on the streets to do this. But if it requires that, we have to do that. Nanamo will advise themselves. If a hearing Nana Kwekwenyan shares similar sentiments, well, the state of our inner roads in Asamankesi, it, it leaves much to be desired. But then, day in and out, we have this refrain that um, uh, the roads has been given on contract. So as Nananum, all what we can is to appeal to the government through your medium that they should come to Asamankesi take a look at our roads and fix the roads for us. Last year, the municipal chief executive of the area said Buedu, who indicated that the road had been awarded for construction, promised to get it done before Christmas. As another Christmas approaches in the next few months, the MC says he can no longer ask residents to remain calm when they explode. The money to pray for another, you shouldn't have even gone in at all in the first place to go and bid for that contract. But once you have gone in and you have won the contract, it is your duty to make sure that you execute the contract. So this one is not a matter of a politician who is deceiving the people. The politician has done his part. So as a market road, I think it's, 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 it's not good. It's, 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 uh, we, are, we are having a sleepless night on the Samarcasi road. So I think that uh, the contractors, they are listening and they will be watching you on the TV and they will see the frustration of the people. A time will come if uh, they don't come to the site, the frustration of the people, uh, it has its own limit. If it escalates, nobody can stop the people now uh, from being what is, what, what is not expected from them. This is not the first time, neither is it the second time, that we are reporting on the state of Asaman Kesi Roads in the eastern region. Businesses are folding up. People are getting sick each and every single day. But until government comes to their aid, the state of Asaman Kesi Roads will continue to be a worry for chiefs and people of Asaman Kesi. For City News, Neoni Amate Kanaku, Asaman Kesi, Upper West Achim Municipality, Eastern Region.